Good day, grade 9 students. Our lesson for today is all about finding the quadratic function given the graphs and zeros. So, if you have graphs, uh, you can come up with the equation of the quadratic function and even zeros. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so this is our first example. Determine the quadratic function in general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c represented by the given graphs. So, if this is your graph, makikita natin yan yung info from this graph na the parabola opens upward. Okay, so that's first info. It opens upward and you have here points this is the x intercepts these two points okay because it cro uh, they cross the graph crosses the x axis through that two points so those are x intercepts okay y intercept is this one because the graph the parabola crosses the y the y axis through this point so this is y intercept so we will look for the coordinates of these three points and those three points will be used to get the quadratic function okay so what's the coordinate of this so the coordinate of this point is negative 2 comma 0 Again, if you have x-intercept, your y is 0. So, negative 2, comma, 0. Another x-intercept, this point, so 1, comma, 0. Because it's, it is an x-intercept, so your y is 0. And then, what is the value of your x here? It's 1. Okay, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is 1. Okay, for this point, what's the coordinate? So, it, since it is y-intercept, so your x is 0, then what's the value of your y? It's negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2. Negative 3, negative 4. So, it's negative 2. Okay, so using these three points, we will determine the quadratic function. Okay, what is the quadratic function? So, first, since these are x-intercepts, Ang tawag din dyan, zeros. Okay. So, the zeros are negative 2 and 1. So, these are your zeros. Negative 2 and 1. From the x-intercepts, you will get the zeros. Okay. The value of your x here. So, this is x is negative 2, x is 1. So, that will be your x values or the zeros. So, x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 1. Okay. So, out of this two zeros, we will make this as factors. So, how? Just change the sign, negative 2 and positive 1. It becomes x positive 2 is equal to 0. Why it changed the sign? So, you just, you just transfer this. Negative 2, it becomes positive. Here. And then this pos uh, positive 1, it, it becomes negative 1 here. Or, in addition property of equality, you add both sides by 2. So, plus 2 here, it's 0. Plus 2 here, so it's x plus 2. Same thing with here. Minus 1 here, it's 0. Minus 1 here, it's x minus 1. So, by addition property of equality. Or, simply change the sign. So, it's up to you which do you prefer. Simply change the sign. So, it becomes x plus 2, x minus 1. So, this is now your factors. So, from these factors, we will multiply these two factors to get the quadratic uh, function the trinomial 
here. But you need to look for the value of a first. What is this a? So to get the value of a, we will use this y-intercept. We're done using the x-intercept. We will use the y-intercept here. So if your x is 0, y is negative 2. So substitute your y here, negative 2 is equal to a, this x becomes 0, so 0 plus 2, and this x, 0 minus 1. So it becomes like this. Okay, so negative 2 is equal to a, quantity 0 plus 2, times the quantity 0 minus 1. Okay, what is 0 plus 2? It's still 2. What is 0 minus 1? It's negative 1. So it is negative 2 is equal to a times 2 times negative 1. What is 2 times negative 1? It's negative 2. So negative 2a. Uh, negative 2 is equal to negative 2a. Then divide both sides by negative 2 here. So it becomes a is equal to 1. So of course it's positive because it opens upward. Okay, so substitute your 1 here from your uh, original equation here. So it becomes y is equal to 1 times the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 1. But this 1, if you, if you foil this times 1, hindi magbabago. So this 1 will not change the trinomial if you foil this. So, it's still the same. So, it becomes y is equal to x squared plus x minus 2. Foil this to binomial. Okay, so this is the product. So, y is equal to x squared plus x minus 2. So, this is now your equation of quadratic function out of this graph. So, from graph, it is now an equation of quadratic function. Okay, another example. example. So, another example. Determine the quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c represented by the given graph. So, this time opens downward na po ang ating graph. So, ang a natin dito, negative. Okay, so, what do we have in this graph? So, we have here this point. This is what we call the vertex or the maximum point from this graph. So, ano tong vertex na yan? What's the coordinate of that vertex? So, ang coordinate niya ay negative 1 comma 0 so your x here is negative 1 your y is 0 and we have the y intercept here it crosses the y axis so this is your y intercept so what's the coordinate of your y intercept so your y intercept is 0 comma negative 1 so your x is 0 here then bumaba negative 1 Okay, so that's our x, uh, y-intercept. So using these two uh, information that we have in this graph, so gagamitin natin yan. So meron tayong vertex. Ang vertex natin ay h, k. So negative 1, 0 yon. So ang h natin, negative 1, ang k, 0. Okay, so ano ba yung vertex form? Ang vertex form natin ay y is equal to a quantity x minus h squared plus k. So, ito ang vertex form natin. So, magagamit natin tong vertex uh, information na to. So, lagay natin dito yung h tsaka yung k. So, substitute natin dyan. Okay, so ito na yon. So, y is equal to a quantity x plus 1 squared plus 0. So, bakit plus 1 to? Eh, negative 1 yun. Kasi you have the here minus. So, iyo opposite mo to. Opposite sign. Because you have negative here and then another negative. So, it becomes positive. So, you have x plus 1 squared plus 0. Okay? So, here we substituted the vertex. So, we need to find what is a here. 
So, we will use this uh, y-intercept, 0, negative 1. So, substitute negative 1 for your y and 0 for your x. So, here, your, this is your uh, negative 1 for y and 0 for your x. So, x plus 1, it becomes 0 plus 1 squared plus 0. Okay, what is 0 plus 1? It's still 1. So, negative 1 is equal to a 1 squared. a times 1 squared. Okay, so this is 1 squared. And then plus 0, this is uh, nothing. So, just remove that. So, what is 1 squared? It's 1. So, this is 1a. So, 1a is equal to negative 1. So, it's imaginary 1a here. So, no need to put 1, one there. So, 1a one or a is equal to negative 1. So, that's why it opens downward because your a is negative. So, substitute here your negative. Negative 1. So, you have y is equal to negative 1 quantity x plus 1 squared. So, we don't need the plus 0, zero anymore. Okay. So, what is x plus 1 squared? We should uh, follow PEMDAS. So, exponent first before you multiply negative 1. So, x plus 1 squared is uh, x plus 1 times x plus 1. It means twin binomial. Kambal. Kambal na binomial yan. Yun. Okay. So, uh, use the FOIL method to come up with the trinomial. So, the trinomial is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so you have here the product of this x plus 1 squared or the square of binomial. So, ito na po yun. Then, may negative pa tayo sa labas. So, we will use multiplication now after exponent multiplication because that's the next for this uh, operation here. So, negative 1 times x squared, negative x squared, negative 1 times positive 2x, negative 2x, negative 1 times positive 1, negative 1. So, this is the final quadratic function. y is equal to negative x squared minus 2x minus 1. Okay, so this is now our final answer. This is now the equation of quadratic function in the form of general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. Okay. What if we are asked for given zeros? Okay, so de determine the quadratic function y equals ax squared plus bx plus c represented by the given zeros. So, without graph, only the zeros. So, what is the quadratic function if the zeros are 5 and negative 3? So, binigyan kayo ng dalawang zeros of quadratic function. So, anong gagawin natin? So, kung may zeros tayo dyan, ang tawag dyan ay x sub 1 tsaka x sub 2. So, meron tayong x sub 1 or first 0, 5, and second 0, negative 3. So, we have two zeros of quadratic function. Now, how do we uh, find the equation of quadratic function out of this 2? So, we will use y is equal to x minus the first 0 or the x sub 1, which is 5, times x minus x sub 2 or which is negative 3. Okay, we will use this formula. Okay, substitute here 5 and substitute here negative 3 for your x sub 1 and x sub 2. So, this is your formula to find the quadratic function. Okay, so it becomes y is equal to x minus your x sub 1 is 5 by substitution times x minus negative 3 by substitution again. Okay, so this is x minus 5 by simplifying and this is x plus 3. Because you have negative here and another negative there. So, if you multiply that, it's positive. 
So, it becomes x minus 5 times x plus 3. Or, simply, the shortcut method. Change the sign, negative 5. <clears throat> Change the sign, positive 3. So, x minus 5 and x plus 3. That's the shortcut without using this one. So, just change the sign. Okay? So, if you want that, the shortcut. Okay, so using the FOIL method, so this is now y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 15. Using the FOIL method to multiply these two binomials. So, this is now our quadratic function. Equation of the quadratic function. Okay, another example. What is the quadratic function if the zeros are 4 and 2 thirds? So we have fraction as your zero. Okay, so we have two zeros. This is, these are our x sub 1 and x sub 2. So our x sub 1 is 4 and x sub 2 is 2 over 3. Okay, using the, using the shortcut, so this is negative uh, x minus 4 and then x minus 2 thirds using the shortcut method. There, so it becomes x minus 4 and x minus 2 thirds. Okay, from this formula, we substituted 4 here and 2 thirds here. So, it becomes minus. So, x minus 4 and x minus 2 third. Now, this 3 denominator here of this fraction, just multiply it to your x to avoid fraction. So, 3 times x, it becomes 3x. Then, copy minus the numerator. Minus numerator. So, it becomes 3x minus 2. So, copy this one, x minus 4, times 3x minus 2. Okay, so after uh, doing that, you can use FOIL now. Okay, so this is 3x squared, this is negative 2x, this is negative 12x, and this is positive 8 by using FOIL. So, the final is y is equal to 3x squared minus 14x plus 8. So you have to know how to use FOIL here to get the final answer. If you don't know how to use FOIL, you have to study that using FOIL. Because if you don't know how to use FOIL method, you can't get this final answer. Okay, so ito na po yung final answer. Y is equal to 3x squared minus 14x plus 8. Okay, so that's all for today. Again, this lesson is all about finding the equation of quadratic function given the graphs and zeros. So, you have a, if you have graphs, you can find the quadratic function. If you have zeros, you can also find the quadratic function. Okay, so that's all. Goodbye, class.